like is Pastor Al. Hey, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'm sure a lot of you, you know, went somewhere or had people over to your house or just got together as a family and had a nice meal Thursday. We had ours Friday with friends. We went over to visit some people and it was really wonderful. And, you know, it's, um, I, I kind of wonder if your, your Thanksgiving looked a little like this. So maybe yours looked a little different than that. But that little Thanksgiving holiday meal there reminded me of something that I think is really important. Um, and, and why meals are sometimes good things to remind us. That the very best of meals make sure that there's room for everybody at the table. Not just people who look like us, not just people who act like this, but everybody. There's a great story that your, your parents and grandparents and are going to be looking at during church today about a woman who was not really at all like Jesus or the disciples or the people that he was reaching out to and he happened to be way up in her hometown and she heard about him and she came to him and well in spite of the fact that she was so different and had absolutely nothing to offer he, she and Jesus talked for a little bit and he decides that she's a pretty special person and that he's willing to do what she asks which is actually heal her daughter and Essentially, basically, he says, well, there's room for you at the table, too, even though you're very different. And what happened to her is that she wound up discovering in Jesus something that she never expected. Uh, a, a person who, uh, with God's love, could change her life. So that's kind of a roundabout way of saying I hope that one of the things you may have at least thought about on Thanksgiving was the fact that God loves everyone who loves him back. That if you come to Jesus, Jesus will never turn you away. And that because of that, there ought to be a room at our table for everybody who loves Jesus. Whether they look like us or uh, act like us or talk like us or come from the same place as us. If they're good enough to be part of God's kingdom and God's family, well then they deserve a place at the table. Because in the long run, the best table of all isn't our table but it's the table that Jesus sets for us. Hey, everybody, have a good rest of the weekend, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.